So, maybe some of you have watched the uh, movie Beautiful Mind, which is a uh, movie about John Nash, who was a uh, mathematician, and he also got a uh, Nobel Prize for his game theory. Now, I will explain to you what, what the game theory is. It's not actually so much about playing games, it's, it's about uh, principles in economics. Traditionally in economics we have always believed, and it was Adam Smith who said that if the individual works for his be personal benefit, strives to, uh, to achieve what is personally best for himself, that would also be the best for the economy. So, be selfish, work hard, get a lot of money, and that would be also good for yourself, but also for the economy. John Nash was the first person to say that, no, this is not right. You have to work for your best, but also for the best of your community and your, uh, the people around you at the same time. And in the movie, The Beautiful Mind, this is explained with an example where four boys are trying to court or uh, take out uh, and meet with four beautiful girls. And they are talking about what their strategy should be when four boys are meeting four girls. Now, I also told this story to my 15-year-old son when my wife was sitting beside the kitchen table and I was explaining to, me, to my son, a 15-year-old, if you have three friends and uh, these friends are going out with you and there are four girls, what should you do? Now, the first thing which you shouldn't do is if everybody is trying to achieve their personal best, they would all go out and pick the best girl from the four and try and get her. Now imagine four boys trying to make, uh, do their best with this single individual girl. What would happen? Perhaps uh, one of them might be able to get her out to go to the movies, but three would not, and none of the other three would want to go out with those boys who get rejected. Hence, the result would be that maybe one boy gets out with the girl, three get rejected by the other three. So, uh, in the, the movie Beautiful Mind, the right strategy would be to avoid, actually, the girl who is the best looking, the, most, uh, the one you would most like to go out with, and share the other three and try and get the, other, the attention of the other three. Hence, everybody would win, everybody would get out to go out to the movies with a girl and the, the, uh, the common good would be achieved. Now, I was telling this story at the table where my wife was sitting and then I noticed that I am doing something absolutely wrong here. I noticed that my wife is start starting to think what is the logic behind this story. Is it that you should not strive to get the best girl, but the second best girl? And I noticed that I'm digging my own grave. So I told my son that what you should do is you should tell this story to all your friends and then go out and pick the best girl. Now, this story is all about the Nash equilibrium. It says that there is a point in which you have achieved your optimum. This is the best you can do. And whatever else you do after that would be moving away from the best possible position. Perhaps a, dif a little difficult to understand, but Nash Equilibri says that this is your best position, it is also the best position of all the other people involved in the community and they do not want to move away from the best position. Another way to look at this best position is to look at the prisoner's dilemma. I am sure you have seen movies where there are two prisoners taken. Each prisoner is taken into his own cell and he is given a deal. 
if you talk, you will get away with a smaller sentence. If you don't talk, your friend, uh, if you don't talk, maybe your friend in the other cell will talk and he will get a lower sentence and you will get a higher sentence. So what should you do? And here on the blackboard we have an example of what you should do in this situation. So we have two prisoners. One is Lisa and the other is Pekka. Now Pekka can stay silent or he can talk. Lisa can stay silent or she can talk. Now, if Lisa talks and Pekka stays silent, Pekka gets five years in prison, Lisa gets zero. So for Lisa to talk would be very good. But of course they are friends, so the best position would be that uh, they both stay silent, so both get one year, they can get convicted for uh, other reasons here, so both get one year in prison. This would be the best possible solution, both stay one year only in prison, but there is also the option that Pekka talks and Lisa stays silent, so here Lisa gets five years and Pekka gets zero. So actually in this situation the Nash equilibri is here. They both talk, so they both get three years, but this is a position they don't want to move away from. Because if uh, they move away from here, the risk is that uh, Pekka does not stay, for, for Lisa the risk is here that Pekka does not stay silent and he talks, so from here three years he goes to five years. So you can see that these interesting optimum positions are not necessarily the best position, which is one year for each, but in some cases there are other optimum positions which from the point of point of view of everybody's benefit is actually worse than this optimum position. Now, why am I explaining all of this? I am explaining all of this because now that we are moving from the industrial society to the information society, there is a very, very big shift in the optimum. We are going from bricks to clicks. This means that optimums are shifting. You are no longer going into the shop to buy, you are going onto the internet to buy. Or perhaps when in the shop, when checking a price, you are no longer going to buy, you go when in the shop onto the internet to check where the lowest price is. I'm not saying that the lowest price, like the lowest prison sentence, is the best optimum. Perhaps value will be created through services. So you will be looking at who has the best service, not the lowest price. But the most important thing is that in the information economy, when moving from the industrial economy to the information economy, we will have big shifts in the Nash equilibrium because bricks are changing to clicks. This, for example, is a digital video. You are now in a virtual classroom. I no longer need the physical. There is a new optimum. Thank you.